I love Xactimate Mobile. I wish that I had was using it when I was doing claims um, because I think I'm, I'm just like stupefied at the just tap the wall, tap the wall, get the ceiling, tap the door and, and take some photos, you know, you speech to text, label them. I can write my estimate right there and, and then pop to the next room. Um, how do you see, because I get this question sometimes, you know, people will say, well, should I invest $2,700 or 3600 bucks or whatever it is for a Matterport um, just to do like cat claims or flood claims or like, you know, wildfire claims or whatever, or, you know, and I usually will say, well, I think Xactimate Mobile is more than adequate to get what you need, which is dimensions of the room, right? You're, you're collecting data. The, the exact, you know, the Matterport is a pretty sophisticated piece of equipment and it gets a super high fidelity, but do you need that level? Um, what are your thoughts on um, claims with either the Xactimate Mobile or Matterport? So, or versus uh, Matterport? This, this is, I, I don't want to give like a loaded answer or a non-answer. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to give you my bias. Okay. Uh, my bias, I love Matterport. Like I love oh, the yeah. technology. I love the views. I love the full spatial scans because like there's no argument. You can do a literal walkthrough from what that total scan is. So yeah, that's pretty amazing. Right, that's wonderful technology. Uh, you also have like DocuSketch as well. There's other providers that do similar capabilities. Yeah. But my more reasonable, economic-driven answer is going to be use the right tool for the right job. Right. So, sure. if you don't need it, and you can leverage what you have right here, if you don't, you know, just. Again, it, it comes down to more of like what you actually need, what are the requirements, and what problems you're solving for. Uh, if it's a large commercial job or if it's a large yeah. fire job, yeah, I'd probably use a Matterport because there may be things that you forget that you may not be able to see in a photo. And if you have a total you know, home scan, that's pretty valuable, I think, yeah. for situations like that. Um, and if you're going to do, like if you're a contractor and you're doing like a pre-mitigation scan, post-mitigation scan, or like a pre-pack out and then a post-pack out, like, you know, through the full restoration process, like those iterative, full, you know, immersive scans, you know, they're, they're, they could be really quite valuable in terms of litigation or other maybe problems that could come up. So the, the more documentation, the better, especially as you get into like the bigger project. So again, it's going to come down to your specific needs and what is going to be the best tool for the job. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And I, I think uh, that's that lines up with what I what I often tell people. And that is, you know, it, it really depends on the sort of the scope of the losses that you're doing. If you're doing a lot of large loss, water claims, fire claims, commercial, um, that kind of thing, then it, it makes more sense to invest in the Matterport, especially because you're getting not only the dimensions, but you're getting a scan, a 3D scan of the space, the spaces or whatever, right? Um, for run of the mill, wind and hail claims, catastrophe claims, you know, water spot on the ceiling or like some sewer backup, you know, claims or whatever. The Xactimate mobile is, I mean, it's, it's an absolute game changer and you don't have to pay for ESX or wait for it. You just gen you're generating it right there. You know what I mean? And then you just hit, send it back to the cloud, pull it down on your, your computer and boom, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's a, it's pretty significant. I mean, I was at towards the end of my career, I was, I had a laptop stand. I've actually got it somewhere in here and I would just walk into the room with my computer and my laser and I would beep off the, the measurements, take my photos, what build my sketch, write my estimate. And it was, it was a much faster workflow than writing it down on a piece of paper and then going and sit in the truck and writing it up because I'm right there, right? What am I forgetting? Oh, the baseboard over there. Okay, put that on there and put it in the computer. Uh, but these, I think that this kind of like brings us full circle with the AI machine learning stuff. Um, you know, all we're really doing is collecting data, making a decision about, you know, the, the coverage and then processing this claim and trying to get some money into the insured's hand as quickly as possible. And I think that, you know, based on our conversation and, you know, we can't see that around that corner. I mean, I've, we're not going to sit here and who knows, right? We could, 
have all have neural links and everything else in the next five years and it's a totally yes. different world yeah. but i think that these these tools are absolutely you know making it, it even easier to get a much more accurate and a much more like high fidelity estimate um than before and i think that that's a, a net benefit for everybody um you know i know some people We'll say, well, you know, the Gen X and or Gen Z and millennials or whatever, they don't want to see anybody at their house and they just want to like text and like just take pictures of stuff and get money in their account. But not everybody's that way, especially the older folks and even younger folks. They want to have somebody come, especially yeah. the larger the loss is, the more you need to have somebody standing there in your living room or in your driveway, shaking your hand, you know, like approving the thing if it's they get the thing approved right then and then it's like hey check your phone or you know you should have a notification saying that you got your first payment before they leave the house right i mean that would be the carriers would lose their minds if they can do that take the hands of the homeowner and then off to the next one um so these tools i think are going to make it even easier for for the carriers to fulfill that promise and keep their customers and you know make everybody happy and unicorns and rainbows as an adjuster you need to know more than just how to read an ho3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, Bird Poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at hagueducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.